If it's great to be an Edgewater Eagle, it must be great to be Tommy Hill. Connolly barely has time to let it go into triple coverage, and Tommy Hill makes the catch. Tommy is a senior receiver and defensive back. And Tommy Hill's got it for the touchdown. A perfectly thrown ball by Mobley. His playmaking ability has made him one of the top recruits in the state of Florida. I think the thing that really sets him apart is how competitive he is. Uh, he, he's competitive at practice. Um, he's competitive in games. He just wants to play football. When I just hit the field, just everything out of my mind just empty out. I just play. You've seen his highlights. This is his story. It's a rough story, let's say that. Uh, it's not It's not a fantasy. Let's just talk about that. Uh, it's rough around the edges. Uh, it made me just become a man at an early age. Nah, 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 nah. John, when you beat me, that's when you can talk. It's a weeknight after football practice, but the game continues. Thank you. Whoa. Ain't no, they said oh, it's a pass. Ain't no thank you. On me. Ain't no thank you. Ain't they, no thank you. I, I told you I was going to scope. Tommy is playing Madden versus his teammate Kai. A teammate that's become a brother. At practice every day, he always, like, tell me what I do right and wrong to help me get better the next day. This season, Kai and his family. And then that, that's how they do it all game long. They'll sit there and just they, they go back and forth over who can catch, who going to score. Took Tommy in. I tell him, look, you, you can stay here as long as you like and stuff, but I want you to stay focused. You had problems before. I had similar issues before when I was younger, not having my father around in life. So and my mom had to do a lot of raising us up. So I know kind of like where Tommy's coming from. John, can I set it up, please? Can I please? John and Kai are just two of the many people to help Tommy. In the game of life, no one wins alone. Look at the score. Look at the score. You ain't beat me that bad. Look at the score. Before Tommy ever came to Orlando, he grew up here in Tarpon Springs, about 30 miles from Tampa. His mother, Laura Tasha, raised him and his two sisters. By the age of five, Tommy started to realize his family situation wasn't normal. It was just a lot of uh, bad situations in my life. Uh, mom was on stuff. Um, dad was really wasn't there at the most, but he was trying to. Uh, then. Other than that, I just had to make my decision and make myself better. Tommy says his mother started having legal issues because of an addiction to drugs. In April 2015, Pinellas County court records show she was arrested and charged with retail theft, resisting an officer, and child abuse. It was not like she was doing it, not care about us, but she was like going in the store, stealing food to make me and my sisters eat. Uh, she used to always make us eat uh, before she ate, so I still appreciate her to this day. At that point, the Florida Department of Children and Families stepped in. It was a, it was a discussion, you know, um, between uh, my sister, Brenda, my older sister, and my brother, Milton. Tommy's uncle, Doug Wallace, had already raised two sons in new sports. He decided to take custody of Tommy when he was 13 years old. This is pretty much where um, all the training began, right here. Doug quickly signed Tommy up for Pop Warner with local trainer Low Wood. We got this phrase, you can't catch a cold in the North Pole. And tell him he missed all the passes, and, and he, he know he did, so he can't sit and say he didn't. But he was athletic. Bring him out here, and uh, we would set some cones up, and I would start teaching him um, how to run routes. Cause that's when he started becoming, to me, becoming Tommy Hill. That's when it started, because he just was determined. Because once we got him pass on, it was a totally different person. By the time Tommy was a freshman in high school, he already had an offer from Florida State. At Edgewater, his father started coming back into his life. He always be like, Tommy, Tommy, point at me. So every time I school, I do a big play, I always tell him, you come point at me. So that's a lot. That's a, that's a happy celebration for me. These days, Tommy points, even if he can't see him pointing back. 
On the morning of March 15, 2019, Tommy's father was riding his motorcycle on US-92 outside Tampa. According to a crash report, Tommy's father attempted a pass near Carmack Road. He collided with the car in the other lane and was vaulted from his motorcycle. He died on the scene. After that, I just passed out, not passed out, but cried. Tommy wears a necklace with his father's picture around his neck and has his death day tattooed on his wrist. Every time I school, I always tell him, let's ride. So that was a big impact. Come on, Dominic! Let's go! 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 Let's go!